Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel where I talk all things budget, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. Today's Slashed Squad member shout out goes to Delaney. Delaney, you are one of the OG Slashed Squad members, so thank you for your support over the years. You can be featured in my next video by subscribing and following me on Instagram. So I don't know about you, but during the summertime, I tend to keep a lot more with me in my purse than any other season. I just have more daily essentials that I carry with me to keep me protected, to keep me shine free, to keep me hydrated, in general to keep me more well prepared for whatever a summer day may bring. So today I'm doing a classic what's in my bag video summer edition, so if you want to know what I cannot leave the house without during the summertime, just keep watching. So this is my summertime backpack purse. Since I do carry more with me during the summer, I switched to a backpack versus a crossbody or shoulder bag. It's just a little bit more comfortable and roomy. I've showed this particular bag in a couple videos before. It's from Amazon, it was like $26. And what I love about this backpack is that if you do have some situation where you don't wanna be wearing a backpack, you can pull this through and now it's a crossbody. I bought this off Amazon in March and it has held up really well. I'm not easy on my bags. I throw them around, I shove them into gym lockers, I put them in my grocery cart and I've had absolutely no issues with the bag itself or the zippers. So first I'm gonna start out by showing you what is in this little zipper pocket that is an external pocket, but it actually sits against your back. So this is really nice if you're traveling and you want to kind of avoid pickpockets, you can put your credit cards and important stuff in here. But when I'm at home, I'm just in my hometown in Vegas, I use it more as a quick access pocket for things that I'm gonna be using the most. So first up, chapstick. Cannot leave the home without chapstick. Don't really have like a go-to or anything. It's mostly whatever is right next to the cash register at Target. <laughs> the other thing that I keep in the quick access pocket is my current fragrance that I'm testing out from Scentbox, which is today's sponsor. So Scentbox is a fragrance subscription service that sends you a 30-day supply of a designer fragrance of your choice straight to your door. Makes it really fun, easy, and affordable to try out new fragrances without buying the full size. So this one is Gucci Guilty. Not quite sure if I like it yet. It's kind of growing on me, but it is the women's version of Adam's go-to cologne, which is why I wanted to try it. All right, let's get into the main compartment of the bag. First up, hand sanitizer, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, one of the reasons why I have to carry a backpack with me versus just a smaller crossbody is because I do like carrying around a small water bottle with me when it's summer. Especially here in the desert, it is so easy to get dehydrated. So I use this small, simple, modern, insulated water bottle to carry with me just, you know, a small amount of water and it keeps it cold for a very long time. This is the 12 ounce accent model. I have a bigger one for like the gym and my bed stand, but this is like the perfect purse friendly size. Another summer essential is sunscreen. So I actually keep a sunscreen stick in my purse because then I don't have to worry about anything exploding. It almost looks a little bit like deodorant, but it is so easy to just swipe on if I've forgotten to put on sunscreen at home. It smells really good. This is just like the Walgreens store brand version. It is SPF 70. So this way I have no excuses to not put on on sunscreen. Next up, UV blocking sunglasses. UV protection is just as important for your eyes as it is for your skin. And I actually have a UV damage spot on one of my eyes, so now I'm even more crazy about like making sure I have my sunglasses with me every time I leave the house. These are the Night Owl style from the brand Movement. Definitely some of my faves. I also love the classic Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but I've been wearing these just a little bit more lately. All right, next up I have scrunchies. I love scrunchies lately just to keep my hair out of my face, but also add a nice accessory to my outfit. Now these particular scrunchies are my absolute favorite from Amazon because the elastic inside is actually really strong. So even with my my thick hair, if I use one of these, like it will stay in place and not sag like some scrunchies do. Okay, next step, pretty obvious, but I have my wallet, although I absolutely love this wallet. I tell everyone about it. It's from Amazon and it is a card carrying wallet. So you have like a ton of different card slots just because I have so many different loyalty cards and gift cards and stuff that I like to always have. So even though it is a small wallet, it carries a lot inside. Next up, I have my external phone charger or just device charger in general. 
general. I've shown this in a few travel videos, I believe, but this is the best external battery I've ever owned. It is from Anchor, again, from Amazon. This can charge up my iPhone X like two and a half times from empty. And then again, self-explanatory, I keep some Advil in my purse. I never, ever, ever leave the house, regardless of the season, without hand cream. This one is the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream. It is a very thick and powerful balm type consistency. So really, really good for dry, rough, or even cracked skin. So funny enough, for being a beauty YouTuber, I really don't keep beauty products with me in my purse. I just would rather wear products that will last all day that I don't need to keep touching up. But I will keep a lip color in my purse. So right now it is the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish in Act Natural. I have a whole video swatching all of these. I will link it below. But this is like my go-to summer lip product right now because it is super hydrating and pigmented. And lastly in my bag and the only other beauty product I keep with me is setting powder. So this particularly is the Physician's Formula Translucent Setting Powder. Why I like this for the summer is that it also has SPF in it. So this has SPF 30 and even though I use SPF moisturizer and then sometimes even SPF foundation, SPF does not last all day. You can't just put it on your face in the morning and then call it a day. So this is a really good way to not only combat shine and keep my makeup in place, but also reapply SPF on my face throughout the day. And then I also use this just as my compact mirror if I want to check on my makeup and it has a mirror underneath the pan of product as well as a brush you can use to apply. Tell me in the comments below what you absolutely cannot leave the house without during summer, and then join me in this video where I share my most recent Amazon clothing haul. I'll see you over there, bye!